Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Cypress tutorial, I'm going to discuss about some of the API action methods. Okay. So what exactly you have to do simply if you go to the Cypress documentation, right in the API section, this is what we are will be going through. Okay. So for example, for assertions, we'll have different assertion documentation and we'll go through as of now we were working with the check, right? So the check method, which comes under actions. And similar to check, so check was used to check the radio button or the check boxes, right? We have seen that in very much detail in previous videos. Now, similar to check, there is uncheck method as well, right? So what exactly it will do is it will uncheck the check boxes, right? Now, check will check the radio buttons, but then in the radio buttons, there is no option to uncheck. So uncheck will be used or can be used only for the check boxes. All right. So nothing tricky about it. You can simply go ahead and practice checking and unchecking with the just dot uncheck method there. Okay. Now the next method was clear and click in the list here. All right. So clear is the method that will clear the input area. Okay. Or the text area. Say for example, there is something that you have typed in, but then you want to clear it or there is something already typed in, then you want to clear it. Then you can use the clear method to clear everything. All right. So, there is also an alias for it right you can also say dot type method which is which is for the typing and then you can say you know pass select all which will select all and then backspace right so these are the functions keyboard functions so to select all and then backspace to clear everything right but then instead of doing all of this you can just use dot clear and we'll see that okay then click we have already been using so to click on a particular element on a web page similar to click we have double click and right click as well okay so double click will double click on any of the web element in the dom okay so it needs to be there in the html document object model right only then it will be able to double click on that particular web element similar to double click we have the right click right so right click a dom element now right click is not the right click that I am showing at the moment, right? So on this page, this is not the, this is basically the right click or the browser functionality. Okay. This is not part of, you know, it is not the right click, which is part of the HTML or the DOM. If I say right click on this page and inspect, so the default right click functionality can be overridden. Okay. And developers can code a custom right click or context click functionality that click if there on the page can be clicked or you can do a right click on it. Okay. For example, if I, so this is the, this is one of the right click demo that I quickly created. Okay. It is not absolutely functional at the moment, but I'll be doing it or customizing it to make it absolutely uh, functional. But just to give you a demo, how the right click will appear. If you'll simply, if I just say right click instead of the browser options that usually you get, you will get this custom menu, right? So if they, this is part of the DOM, okay. So this is part of the HTML that I have implemented on this page. And if this is the right click that is available, then yes, you can use the right click method here, right? So click, double click, right click, just to be aware that yes, these are the methods. Now let's quickly go ahead and use the uh, clear and click. Uh, so basically I want to show you the clear and then later scroll methods. All right. So what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and copy this login. So we were using this parabank, right? So I'll simply go ahead and copy the login and I'll say rename this clear text and rename this clear text demo and I'll copy the same thing here as well. okay so now what we were doing is so basically if I just say so we were typing in something right now instead of so I'm launching this parabank okay and then in the username I'm typing in something okay let me remove this password field as well all right so this is the locator for the username field and then it will be typing in this RCV test, right? So after typing in, say for example, I want to clear the text that I have typed in. So I'll simply say, okay, cy.get. Okay. Let me execute this, this much first and I'll go ahead and start the app and okay. So I'll go ahead and open clear text. So it should open Parabank website and then type in the username in the username text box. Okay. So you'll see that it has typed in here in the username, right? And if, if I go to this particular step here, I can see 
before and after right so the screenshots before and after are being showing that it has been typed in now if i want to clear absolutely simple right not no tricky bit here so i'll simply go ahead and copy the same locator so basically i'll go ahead and copy this right so this is basically let me quickly check this so this is this is not the uh, proper locator what i'll do is i'll use the same locator right so this is the one that we wrote previously so this is the locator for the so cy.get and this is the locator which will identify the username now if i want to clear the text that i have typed in i'll simply say okay cy.get get the locator and then simply say clear all right so it's just a simple method to clear the text in there okay if i save it here you will see that it will type in and then it will go ahead and clear it right so you'll see type has has triggered and then the clear method and you will see that post clear you will see that this has been cleared right so whatever text was there you will see the after okay and then it was here and then in the clear got removed okay so this is about the clear method very very simple and then click we have you been using so i won't be bothered about click double click right click now double click and right click right click is a very uh, tricky one and not very very used uh, very very widely used so there are no sample applications in prod uh, usually whatever i have tried to figure out over the internet I just found few demo pages wherein you can go ahead and test right click and that's that's how I created this right click um, for uh, th there is a sample uh, page that I also created but that is not working absolutely uh, perfect right so this is how I created but then when I do a right click method because of the errors in this ap application it is not working perfectly it's not the Cypress issue it's basically the application the way I have coded it that is an issue right but overall if Say for example, you as a tester won't be doing all of this, right? So the UI will be developed by the professional developer. So they'll handle all the errors in the application and then you should be able to use the right click. Absolutely fine. Double click. Yes, you can simply use instead of say for example, click, I use double click. It will double click. Absolutely fine. Right now going to the next one, which is scroll into view or scroll to what exactly scroll into view will do. Okay. So if I go ahead scroll into view will scroll the element into view all right so i'll make a separate video so let's stop here okay about all the top methods here and then i'll create a separate video for scroll into view and scroll to or what exactly if you want to scroll to a particular element in cypress how you are going to do so that's all for this video thank you see you in the next lecture